Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel here at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club. And I've got a great golf swing tip that can help you today um, that will change your driving life. So all those people out there who are slicing their driver, this is an excellent way for you to understand on how to fix the club face. Um, one of the things, if, you, if you're slicing the golf ball, the face is open to the path and you're cutting across the ball a little bit. So how do you fix that? If you keep slicing, you keep slicing, you keep slicing. So one of the ways I, I love to show this is that if, I, if I'm slicing, my left wrist is actually turning up. So my, you can see how my, my palm turns to the ground and my left wrist flexes up. So we have to change that because this left wrist controls the club face. So if I go towards you here, you can see how that club face goes towards the sky. And so what happens is as that club face goes towards the sky, that club face is looking to the right and usually uh, it's too open and you usually have some sort of cut across as well. So your path is a little bit to the left, but I would say fixing the face first is a big help. So I'm gonna have you just hold the club up in front of you. I have the driver here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the knuckles of my left hand, my lead hand, and we're just gonna turn my knuckles of the left hand down to the ground. And you can see when I do that, my club face is also closing. So when I do that here, you can see here, my club face turns to the ground. If I turn my knuckles the other way, the club face turns to the sky. So you can see the opposite effect that has. So the wrist and the knuckles have a lot, or the hand, has a lot to do with how you hit the ball, if you slice it or not. So you can see this here is that by me just turning my knuckles down to the ground like that, it gives you a really good sensation of how the club face closes. So if you're someone who consistently slices the ball off to the right for a right-handed golfer, this would be a great way for you to feel that. So as you're coming through the ball, you're doing the same thing. So you can see how my club face is turning down to the ground and not up to the sky. And so when it goes up to the sky, the ball's gonna go right. If it turns down enough, the ball's gonna go to the left or pretty straight. Um, so this is something that I work on with a lot of my students. Really easy thought for you to correct that uh, ball flight. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one here. So all I'm gonna think about is my, kind of my left knuckles going to the ground. So I'm gonna make a few practice swings where I'm gonna create that same feeling of left knuckles going to the ground. So my fit, my club face is definitely closing through the shot. There's no opening of the face. And so I'm gonna go ahead and feel the left knuckles down to the ground. And that ball definitely did not slice. So if you see a lot of shots when you're doing this, if you are a constant slicer, you have to go through hooking to get to good golf. So you can't just go slice, 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 and then try to hit the ball straight because it's usually not gonna happen. You have to go from slicing to hooking to good golf. And so, or, you know, or hitting it straight because now you're gonna have the feeling of how that face is able to rotate. So I'll go ahead and do that again. So that shot really hooked. And I, you know, one of the things is that you just have to do it slowly at first. Really kind of, again, feel this little motion here, okay? You want to check your grip as well, make sure the grip's in the fingers, but we want to feel that face turn down a little bit as we swing through, as I come back into the ball, that face has nowhere, that face has no chance of looking to the right. So that ball should never go to the right. There we go again, beautiful. Little shot there, nothing, not trying to hit it far, just working on the face, feeling how my hands and wrist can control the club face. And when I do that, when I feel that motion, instead of the knuckles going to the sky, feeling it turning down to the ground a little bit, that gives me that sensation of that club face closing. So that will give you that ability to um, hit the ball uh, more to the left and not slice it out to the right. Um, it's a really good sensation to feel. Um, again, I use it a lot with my, with my students just to kind of get that sensation of not keeping the face open. Uh, a lot of students, they come through the ball, and it's, you know, a lot of people who don't play a lot of golf, 
they can't feel that during the full swing you know with you know swinging let's say you're swinging 90 100 miles an hour you have to kind of start to understand that you can hold it in front of you i like to hold it here because that club is the club's back behind me where it's coming from you can see how i'm kind of twisting that face down a little bit okay um, one of the other things that i'd like to talk about too is the takeaway and i see this a lot too when people take the club back they they put too much open in the face immediately so they're actually turning their knuckles to the sky too much on the backswing so that's something you have to look of look at as well um, not to do not to turn the knuckles to the sky but keep the knuckles also you know you can feel that as well when you go back you can feel the knuckles your left knuckles go to the ground and you can see when I do that when I swing back that keeps that club face pretty um, pretty close to the shaft here so there's no opening so it keeps it close to the shaft so once you go back to the top of your swing you'll see that the club face is definitely close to the shaft and it's much easier to keep that keep that path and face going from in to out so it's super super important um, that's something I always see I see that a lot in slicers where that club when they swing back when that club swings back that face opens too much often gets too much to the inside and then over the top so that's where it kind of goes inside and over the top. So just doing this little twist, this feeling of this knuckles to the ground or twist away, kind of feeling that twist with the face down to the ground. What that also does is that keeps that, keeps that right hand on top. So you can see when I go back, that's actually a really good position in the backswing. So you're working off the arc, the club's working up and in. And it's a really good spot to um, to take the club back. So it does a couple things. It not only fixes your your downswing club face, but it also fixes your takeaway club face. And so you get you get a couple bonuses for that as well. So that's something I highly recommend. If you slice, this is a great drill for you. If you hook the ball already, um, I wouldn't recommend it. But definitely, um, if you have a tendency to see a lot of the right woods right fairway uh, for right-handed golfer obviously it's the opposite for left-handed golfers but this is a, a terrific way to feel this you could use it for your irons as well um, something that can help a lot you know that feeling because basically when you're going to get to the top now you can see my left wrist is a little flatter not as not as cupped there just a little more flat so it kind of it helps a lot of different things remember your hands are the only thing that connects you to the golf club so you got to get the hands right. Uh, I've talked about that in previous videos of educated hands and how the hands work. Um, but this is something that if you're a slicer and you need help fixing that slice before you go out and play, this is a great feel to have uh, for you to, to play with. So again, my name's Jess Frank. I've been teaching this game for over 20 years. I love helping you guys play better golf, have more fun on the golf course. So if you really enjoyed this video, Please subscribe. Please turn on your notifications uh, for the channel. Remember, it's free. Um, I love, you know, that's my goal in life is to help as many people as I can play better golf. And again, so thank you. Please leave comments. And if anything, if there's anything you want to see on the video, please, um, on, on my videos, please leave those comments in the section below as well. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.